live. Afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, if you get our little notices about when we're going live, you might have an idea of what today's topic is, or depending on what Lauren wrote as our description. Yeah, it's probably a giveaway in the description. Oh. Hi, Violet. <laughs> Violet, you're not the star of the show today. She's Can you believe not. that? Um, not that you're not adorable. Please are... don't knock the camera over. Celebrating the rescue anniversary of our friends, uh, our four baby goat friends today. Hey guys, don't walk off on me. Come on. No. Um, <laughs> Violet, can you move, please? And we are so th uh, so thankful to have you all here with us this afternoon as we do that. Uh, we've got Levi up front and center here today. Do we have any of Levi's sponsors in our audience right now? Probably. If so, say hello. Um, come back, visit Levi as a sponsor of our rescued friends here. You get to have free sponsor visits with your sponsoree. Um, Chester could always use more sponsors because he needs as many back scratches as possible to be a happy boy. <laughs> Arlo, my, my shirt isn't the, my shirt isn't the treat. Um, but two days uh, ago to the year, a year, a year and two days ago is probably the best way to say that word um, or that phrase. Uh, we brought in our four newest residents at the time. Just some itty bitty, very cute, very parasite riddled uh, baby goats uh, who we were absolutely smitten with from the start and honestly it has not stopped um, they're a bit more uh monsterish these days getting into all of the that's a butt hey bud it's just a butt watch out oh, and a watch out <laughs> he's huge you've got there we go we're getting mike and arlo snoot on the camera as well soon there are you Some there models. you are we have an arlo sponsor in the audience tara's here thank you for being a sponsor here's your boy not understanding how uh, to be on camera. <laughs> hey, bud. You gotta back up. We can't see you when you're like that. We just see your dangles. No, don't eat the camera. No, no. No eating the camera. Okay. There you go. Good boy. <laughs> what do we think of the Willow friends? Um, so a year ago today, they all came in. They were absolutely tiny baby goats. Does anyone remember... Uh, the general idea of where our baby goats came from. If you do, leave a guess in the comments. Um, and we are just going to spend today reminiscing about where they, ha or how, how much they've grown, how they've changed as individuals, and uh, what the rest of their life here at Sanctuary might start to look like. They still have a lot of growing to do in the next year or so. Hi, Molly. I think we've entirely tired the willow. It's just not as much of a treat. We did lure them back here with some ginger snaps, so in all fairness to them, willow is, is an excellent treat that grows in nature, but it's just not quite as yummy as ginger snaps. Oh, that's okay, Molly. <laughs> Chester! Oh no. Chester! Okay. Chester is behind us. He found a human to rub his whole body against. He's here. Um, Hi. And. Hey, bud. Say hello. <laughs> Sweet little Chester. There's his little face. His little uh, lips. Oh, there he is. Hi. Hello. He's, oh, a, he's a bit immune compromised. And he has a few like so. itchy skin issues going on. So he likes to find a human and just rub his whole body on you as he walks past to try and get some of those itches. He's just always trying to get somebody to scratch his back for him. And he gets now, you may have seen, if you follow us on TikTok or on Instagram, um, and if you don't and you have one of those apps, go follow us. Um, you may have seen Chester in a video where he's getting his oatmeal baths to help soothe his uh, his itchy skin as well. He's very soft right now. He's super soft. He's, so soft. he's very cute when he gets his baths. Um, gets some treats in the meantime. But to be honest, no matter who you are as a goat, you probably enjoy a back scratcher, a butt scratch here and there. Except for Thelma. Who's oh, Thelma. In the Thelma's saying, oh. There's Thelma. Hi, Thelma. Somehow Thelma ended up with all the babies. Thelma, Thelma can easily be convinced by a cookie. 
uh, to hang out with humans. <laughs> she won't. She won't let you touch her, but she does. She does want to follow along and see if she can reach a, a few more cookies. Oh, um, Molly, hi. And these guys, they when they first got here, oh, they were absolutely tiny. We can still pick them up, but it is not nearly as uh, as much of a little baby cry cradle as it used to be. They didn't have much in the way of horns when they first got here, just sort of little nubs on their heads. They had these big old tags in their ears. Their voices were absolutely outrageously adorable, especially sweet Molly. Um, <laughs> uh, Lauren, would you care to do a rendition of your memory of Molly's voice? Oh gosh. I'm gonna scare the other goats. <laughs> I think I would just scare the other goats. It was so high pitched. I, I will... it would it turn into, it starts off kind of normal for a baby goat and then turns into an absolute scream. <laughs> kind of terrifying. Um, and you could hear little Molly uh, from her quarantine yard because they did have to be quarantined when they first got here um, because they did have intestinal parasites and everyone who is rescued goes into quarantine when they first get to sanctuary to make sure that in case they have anything that we don't know about as well, uh, that they're not sharing it with our healthy herd members or our herd members who don't know what they have because we certainly have some elderly friends here and all sorts of animals with health issues going on that need to be treated. So we don't need to add on to that. Um, right, Molly? But they're baby goats. They want to socialize. They want attention all of the time. Um, they really want to be cared for and mother. And unfortunately, they came from somewhere where they... Uh, you know, they were separated from their moms when they got brought here to sanctuary. So they didn't have their moms to look after them. And little Molly was just always crying out for people. You could hear her. She was across the sanctuary from our office. And you could just hear her shouting. So much. So much. Levi's back in the camera. <laughs> what are you doing, bud? What are you doing, bud? <laughs> we do have a couple silly goat things in uh, the chat so far, Ooh, by nice. the way. Um, and some goat questions. So let's see Ooh, here. Awesome. A fun goat fact from Peter. Oh. A baby goat is called a kid, but also when they give birth, it's called kidding. Yes. So, yep, little babies. <laughs> oh, and is Chester still best buds with Tigger? Janine wants to know. Um, yes, he still absolutely loves Tigger. Ooh, the rest of our goat friends are on their way in. They um, come. It's a rainy day, so they, they went out to enjoy some grazing while the rain had let up. But uh, they're, they're coming back in now. They do not like to be out in the rain at all. Oh, I feel like I have a very good goat joke that I, I told the other day, and I cannot remember it. So hopefully I'm going to... Uh, I may... I, 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 uh, I, I'm hoping it'll come back to me. Ooh, and Robin, thank you for the stars. Folks, if you want to shoot some stars our way, where you type in your chat things, there should be a little bucket, a uh, little button that's got, oh, there's a, speaking of butts, there's a butt. So many. Uh, <laughs> cute butt. Um, there's a button there that you can send some stars our way, which um, gives money to us here at the sanctuary, which is super awesome. So thank you, Robin. Uh, oh, no, and <laughs> Robin went to Florida one time and a goat ate the theme park map. <laughs> Oh, that sounds like something a goat would do. You definitely got to watch out for your uh, papers when there's goats around because they will eat all of them. <laughs> yeah, so Chester still loves Tigger, um, but his relationship with Tigger also built up his confidence, and uh, we love to see it. Levi, that butt Dude. is the only thing on camera. No, it's a shoulder. Oh, okay. And now we have a dangle, a little <laughs> waddle. Hey, be nice to Jacqueline. Arla is getting a little frisky over there, um, old lady Jacqueline. Uh -oh. Arlo. She's old. Um, Leave her alone. Although she certainly does hold her own. Often. She does. Levi, um, sweetheart. Thank you. Levi, bye. Oh, oh. Oh, he's still a lap goat. Look at him. <laughs> He's he's always oh oh my <laughs> he's always the one who wanted to sit on people's oh laps goodness. and he still thinks he can do it. 
Do we want to not, friends? Yeah, Arlo, be nice. <laughs> My friend. Arlo um, likes to mess with the other So, uh, overall, Chester's relationship with Tigger helped build his confidence. And now we see Chester back to hanging out with the whole herd more, which we do love to see um, because that is important for his socialization and his well-being. Excuse you, Arlo. Arlo. Good boy, Levi. You tell him to leave Jacqueline alone. Good boy. Levi's looking out for Jacqueline. And so is Caden. <laughs> and so is Caden, yes. We're gonna Arlo's keep like, Arlo. let me at her. Let me at her. I have not finished my head butting. <laughs> oh, well, someone else is coming. Lonnie's coming up behind you. Arlo, why don't you play with Lonnie? She's more your age. Lonnie's gonna go get you, Arlo. She's gonna say, don't mess with my mama. <laughs> my mama alone. Um, did we have any guesses about, or, or uh, anybody remembering where our baby goats came from, by the way? Oh, uh, not that I saw, but I could have very easily missed them when I was trying to get the goats to stop eating the camera. Very fair. <laughs> Were there other questions or comments about the goats that we should address before we share their story a little bit? Just a lot of goat love. Good. They are absolutely great. Is that a good butt scratch spot? Yeah. Um, so our baby goat friends are all here because they were living on a farm that had goats. Oh. You're pain. Ah. It's off camera, but you can probably hear it. <laughs> yeah. At least I'm not quite in the splash zone, huh? Um, they were all born on a farm. Oh, that was the splash zone. Okay. It was raining out. She's wet. Um, they were born on a farm uh, that had goats and got also a decent amount of its income from tourism and from uh, tours, but it was a for-profit farming facility, which is very different than coming to visit a sanctuary like we are here at Catskill Animal Sanctuary where our programming does help bring in money but it helps go towards the vet bills and caring for these guys and advocating for members of their species. Lauren, turn the camera around and catch Levi being Levi. What's he doing? Oh gosh. <laughs> I just gotta stand up and turn around a quick way. Dude, what did you what did you just do? I have a feeling that that bucket was upright a minute ago. Am I right? Um, something close to that, and he was absolutely uh, jumping up on it. Uh, he tried to get into it. And if that is a Levi to a T. Oh, the places this goat has been in less than a year. Yeah, you. We're talking about you. Yup, it's you. This shoulder. This shoulder. And the dangles, which technically technically are called waddles, by the way. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Here we are. Um, so <laughs> what you can't see on camera is Chester rubbing himself against Lauren. Oh, now he's in the camera. Uh, Arlo writing the screen. Levi, like, somebody was eating Lauren's shirt. Levi is eating my arm. Why are you doing that? <laughs> Gross. Slimy. Oh my gosh. Levi and Arlo are absolutely the biggest troublemakers um, in the baby goat herd. Without a doubt, Alice is the worst uh, troublemaking goat here uh, on our main property at the sanctuary. I would never want to discount Dolores over at Route 32 for being a troublemaker. Oh, um, I miss Dolores. She was great. She's, she's a good girl. She's a fun one. She's just over at her other property, though. Yeah. She's fine. She still lives here at the sanctuary, still gets lots of love and care, just to, is a little out of a little out of the way. What are you talking about? Oh, getting so many um, But Levi and Arlo like to jump up into all sorts of things. We have a big tall bucket at the end of the barn where we store uh, dry dirt to fill up dust baths for our birds. So often we find them in there. Hi. Um, we find them in the back of our spreader, which is where, like the tractor that we put all of the uh, dirty shavings in. Uh, we find them on the backs of trucks. We find them in visitors' cars, which by the way, we are open for member tours. And we are opening up for public tours this weekend, our first public tours of this weekend. 
I believe we may be sold out. We have maybe a few tickets left available. Um, all tickets do need to be reserved online uh, for the May and June tours. Uh, but we still have slots for the rest of May open. So if you're interested in coming on a tour, I have like, the goats are very interested in my face today. Is it because I had lunch before this? You had, wait, 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 you had food and you didn't uh, bring anything for goats? <laughs> oh my gosh. I am truly a horrible person. Terrible. So rude. I, I know, Levi. I cannot believe it. Ah. You got a couple. Oh, oh, hi, sorry. So that's what happens when you're with baby goats is Levi just hit the switch camera around button <laughs> and then all of a sudden my face is on the camera um, because touch screens are sensitive to goat noses, so... There you go. One of these times they're going to hit the end video thing and so you're like, no. But, uh, we do have a couple they've done more. That before on me. Oh, they've done that to you before? They haven't yes. done it to me before. Yeah, they did. I, uh, I also didn't realize it and I was pre recording a tour, so I had to go back and do the oh, whole no. thing because we do some virtual tours for folks uh, that we can customize to your group. We'll leave a link for that in the comments if you are interested and hopefully the baby goats will intercept in my. A recording if you are getting a pre-recorded virtual tour. Um, <laughs> we have a question, Lauren? Yes, so um, about how some of our other friends get along, about specifically Alice and Violet. Um, oh, goodness. Does Alice get along with the babies? Where did Alice go? Wasn't she right there? Oh, she's there. Where did Violet go? That's what I'm thinking of. Wasn't she right here a minute ago? She was, but I don't see her. No, I don't know. Um, so Alice and Violet, uh, both big head butters, love it when they focus on each other. Uh, really much, much easier to, to navigate around them when they're in the frisky mood, if they're getting it out on each other. Um, and as for Alice and the baby goats, well, I'd like to think that the baby, <laughs> not graceful at all. Ooh. A horn to the face is not what I want, but even though I love you. And your horns are great. And your face is great. You just gotta watch where they go, right? I know, it's my fault for being down here. Um, so, Alice has lived with... <laughs> so itchy. Oh, Jackie, what is it? Come here, love. Um, what a sweetheart. What an absolute sweetheart. Um, and Tigger is on his way in from outside. Tigger got distracted. He did. He found the leaves. He found a big branch of willow leaves. He's like, ah, oh, I got this. <laughs> oh, no, Arlo found him. Arlo's going to go steal from, from Tigger. Um, but uh, Alice has been living with the baby goats at night. They share a stall uh, for, for most of their time. Uh, since they moved into the barn, she's been sharing a stall with them. And at first, she was so upset about it. It was horns, but I love that you want to scratch your face on me. It's fine, but it's the horns. Um, and she was not interested. The baby goats were way too much energy for her, but she really got a bit of a taste of her own medicine and mellowed out with our staff after that. Um, she's still a little rambunctious. Um, she's still a little rambunctious when she meets new people. Uh, but uh, but Alice. Alice is, is better for her relationship with the baby goats and she treats them really respectfully. They they uh, they actually don't headbutt together too much. It is more likely to be Lonnie and Loretta who get a little tired of the babies, if I'm if I'm being honest. Although did you need did you need something? <laughs> so apparently Chester has learned that you can hoof at people to get them to scratch you as well. Yeah, pick that up from the sheep. Hi, Levi. These guys absolutely Hi, are Levi. absolutely are observant um, and, uh, and problem solved to get their needs oh. back. Do we have other questions? Um. Well, is is uh, Alice the new troublemaker number one then over Violet? Oh, mm -hmm. me. spicy. Little tiny, little tiny shy bee is holding her own with Levi right now. Oh, she's chasing him. <laughs> <laughs> so there, uh, little see little tiny bee. Oh, bee, be nice. 
Oh, Levi. Poor baby. Levi, she may be small, but she's got to hold her own. And here comes Russell. Oh, and there's Russell, the little pig. <laughs> Levi, you going to leave her alone? Yeah. Arlo, can you not do that? Oh, wait, they're doing it again. Oh, boy. <laughs> Russell's just like, I just want to walk out the barn. Hi, Russell. Hi, hey, handsome. Bye, Russell. Hi, boy. Who's Russell? <laughs> A good guy. He's getting more social. Um, before we got distracted by B, what was I saying? Do we remember? Uh, that Chester is the most handsome. He is. That's probably what we were saying. Um, oh, Alice is troublemaker number one. Yes. Through and through. Violet. And that actually brings me to something I was going to talk a little bit about in terms of the... Uh, hi. Um, in terms of the baby's overall development. So, does anyone know how long it takes for a goat to fully mature? There, there are two ages I want you to guess. The first age in their timeline is when they reach close to their full stature. And then the second age is when they are fully mature. Um, so leave some guesses in the comments. Uh, and then Violet, I will say, um, is more mature than Alice, which we could guess based on their overall age timeline here. Um, are you getting grumpy, Russell? What yeah, folks, you might have heard Russell complaining in the background. I think he's not a fan of the weather. So, like, I'm sorry, bud, but we have no control over that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that grumpy face. Oh my god. That is a cool who's Russell. displeased that he can't go to the bathroom outside without getting wet. <laughs> oh, buddy. Um, one of my favorite things that he does, especially in cold weather, is he he still does not really consider the barn aisle to be a bathroom. Um, so, and a lot of our pigs, they, you know, they want to be able to go to the bathroom outside of where they live. And on, on a really cold day, he gets up out of his stall where he spends most of the winter napping, to be honest. Um, and he runs outside, does his business as quick as possible, and then hustles back, yelling the entire time, just complaining loudly. Um, just, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah, he, he lets you know when he's not, he's not really feeling what the weather's doing, right, bud? Oh, poor Russell. It's a tough time. It's a hard time to be a pig. All the goats in your space. So oh, sorry, bud. Bad weather. Some leaves, though, we brought inside for you. If you're kind of nice. This is maybe the closest he's ever been to being on a virtual sanctuary. Is this? Would, would this be the closest he's ever come to our camera? I think it might be. <laughs> so you're getting a very special episode today. Um, and this is actually a testament to the overall progress that our residents are able to make here at Sanctuary. He has been getting worked with, with uh, some of our caregivers here and accepted his very first belly rub not too long ago. Which we have on TikTok. Which we have on TikTok. So again, if you, if you are not Gen Z or a millennial, may I not recommend that though, bud? Um, yeah, we don't, 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 don't go stick your face in Russell's face. That's not gonna work out too well for you, love. Um, if you're not Gen Z or millennial and you don't have TikTok, you should download it because it's a great way to spend your time. If you are Gen Z or millennial and you don't have TikTok uh, because you've already downloaded it and uh, realized it's a great way to spend too much of your time, I understand. But if you have TikTok, go follow us. <laughs> catch Russell's first belly rub, or you could also catch it on our Instagram. What's the question one? Uh, well, we do have a response to your questions, um, but also a uh, question, how old is Russell again, and what, is he 12? That seems right. Somewhere around there. I'm going to defer to Lauren on that one. She's better at keeping track of the birth years, I will say. I want to say he's 12. Because Lauren is the one who is most likely to play the game of, let's take you on a tour of the sanctuary and find an animal who has the same age as you. 